All right, let's uh, let's join the uh, the adventure and go up to this next floor. Here at Super Potato, you never know what you're gonna find. It's like a surplus. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Look at that. This is a portable Famicom. Why don't you tell us what this one is? This is a portable Famicom as well. What's the difference between these two? This one you can plug into the TV and use these remotes. Oh, that's convenient. As well. That's kind of cool, eh? I think this would the, uh, the Does the image on there project on the TV as well? Yeah. But I think this... Oh, see here? This is uh, an example of it right here. Here's a, a, Fami, a Famicom, like a knockoff one. Ooh. But I think it runs better than the original one because this is like a newer, this is new and it has EV cables and turbo. See right here? Huh. It's a pretty good deal. Zombies ate my neighbor's cartoon there. Here it is, Super Nintendo. Oh, there's a lot of zombies ate my neighbor's stuff here. Look at that. In Japan, they love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So make sure you check out our uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors video that we did, our live action video. The link right down below. Make sure you check that out. It's really strange that they have this Zombies Ate My Neighbors shrine here. And we ventured into the PlayStation realm. A lot of kind of mid-generation games from the 64 era on the PlayStation here. Behind me here you see the MSX. The MSX is uh, is another Japanese uh, only game system here that was only released in Japan. Uh, not really too much is known about it, but those are the games for the MSX apparently, whatever that is. I guess this is this is, would be an MSX box here. I would assume. Yeah, all this stuff is like MSX stuff. These boxes are pretty huge, though, eh? Look at the size of this box for this little tiny game. Makes you wonder what you have inside, eh? A huge instruction manual. Oh, right here. Here we go. We got a surprise here. It's Pilot Wing 64, which is 50 yen. That's basically 50 cents. So, goes to show you how popular Pilot Wings is here. Got the big, uh, big stockpile right there for that. And and right below that, you see the other launch title from Japan, which is Japanese Chess. And this guy is the chess master here in Japan. There we go. You can beat anyone else at chess in Japan. So, uh, about this game here, uh, this game was released as a launch title for the Nintendo 64. 
back here in Japan when uh, the Nintendo 64 was was uh, was first released. So the three launch titles were Pilot Wings, this chess game, and Mario 64. Uh, nobody wanted this game. You can see why. It's this. This is a Super Mario 64 air freshener. Put it in your car. Super Santa Mario. Now we're going to be going up to the third floor here, which is apparently a retro arcade. So let's go check out that. And uh, before we do that, let's show you right here. We got a photo right here of Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. So there you go. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. Some places in Europe banned the word ninja from being, uh, being publicized in uh, daytime television. So when uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles broke, broke uh, uh, into the market here as a really popular series, um, they, they banned the word ninja from being, uh, being shown in, in, in uh, parts of Europe. So they changed it to hero. So I guess they were heroes. Because they kind of were heroes, right? They were heroes in a half shell. City. Now you can pick here. You can you can select you can select what game you want. There's multiple games on here. This one. Here's the game. I think here's the game list. Famicom chair. Here's the Famicom chair here. Uh, why don't I sit down and be the game master here? So, I'm gonna get my friend Lars to film me. There we go. <laughs> this chair here is made out of uh, Famicom games, <laughs> as you can see. Look at that. You may or may not know that my favorite franchise of all time is Battletoads. Look at that. Battletoads Arcade. You ready to play some Battletoads Arcade? You bet. really hard to, uh, to control this and play the game at the same time, <laughs> but uh, you should probably just focus on the game and I'll see you guys later. Well folks, here I am, just as I inserted my uh, my second coin, my, my second coin to continue on here, this is what happened. The glitch gremlin got the game. Look at this. Here's Battletoads. Here's my character. This is where I'm supposed to be down here. And uh, screen won't let me fall down there. Look at that. So uh, 
That's uh, that's the glitch gremlin at his work for you again, at his finest. Goddamn good glitch gremlin. Can you believe that glitch gremlin? No. It's like a glitch gremlin will always find you when you least expect him. So there we go. Glitch gremlin's screwing around again. <laughs> Look at that, no more game. Look at that. So, uh... Guess that's the it for Battletoads.